guys, Dana here, aka The Electric, and today I'm going to go over body isolations. Uh, there are several variations that you can do. I'm going to go over a few, and then I will give some examples of transitions and ways to use them in your flow. The first way, you're going to start with your dominant hand. My dominant hand is my right, so I'm going to pass it over to my left. You may want to, and this is going to be on horizontal plane, and you may want to practice this kind of just back and forth like this. You can start with my favorite grip with the handle resting in your hand like so. So then that way you can just push it easily over to the other side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dominant hand, you're gonna push it over to your non-dominant side, and then it's gonna swing behind you and it's gonna come around the back of you. And then you're gonna grab it again at your dominant side hip. You can either grab it by the handle or you can grab it into the fiber grip and keep going. I'm starting with my dominant hand. I'm gonna pass it to my non-dominant hand. And ideally you want, kind of wanna let it slide over so it's, it's kind of like a smooth transition. I usually grab it by the fibers, uh, but it does look really cool too when you let it slide and you grab it by the handle. You can go into shapes from there. So some troubleshooting tips for this to get it to look like it's more isolating around your body rather than just wrapping around your body. You want to almost have this kind of motion as if you're almost like, um, like taking off a seatbelt or like unwrapping something from around you. Like follow it with your hand as long as you possibly can. Okay, so variation number two is gonna be where we're gonna start and practice these on both sides. So first we'll start with our dominant hand. Instead of going, passing it to our non-dominant hand and wrapping behind us, we're just gonna go straight to going behind us like this. And we're gonna follow with our hand and then same kind of thing, we're gonna grab it, practice grabbing it at our, at our hip area. So again, that was swing behind us and then grab. And again, you can either grab at the handle or you can grab by the fibers. So then practicing on the non-dominant side, you would start with your left hand or whatever your non-dominant hand is. You're going to go behind you and then you're gonna grab down there. So again, from behind, I'm starting with my right hand. I'm gonna let it touch the back of my neck and I'm gonna grab it right here and as I follow it behind. So again, that was and you can go into something else from there. So left side would look like this. And I would encourage you to practice grabbing it by the fibers and by the handle so you can um, practice different transitions from both grip. So going back to the first variation, if you would like to do that and then follow it, so as soon as it comes around, to the right side of your, of your neck or to, the, to your dominant side. So I'm passing off to my left. I'm letting it come around, but instead of letting it continue around, I'm gonna start turning as soon as it comes there so it stalls the whip out in that direction. So again, that was, I'm gonna pass it. You can let it stall here. You can grab it, go into arm bars from here. You can go into this kind of stuff can go into shapes from here, can release it, go into stuff like that, grid work, whatever. So if I'm gonna do the variation where I'm coming straight from behind from my dominant hand, it's gonna touch the back of my neck and as soon as it does that, I'm gonna turn. So for variation number three, I'm gonna start with the isolation coming behind me first, but I'm going to wrap into the isolation so what I mean, first I'll show it and then I'll explain it. And then come back around and grab it. And you're right here. You can go into, you know, turns like this, slides, stuff like that, shapes. Again, that was, you bring it back around and grab it. You could also turn back the other direction and turn back into it. So that would look like this. And 
and then you can go into whatever you want from there. Again, from behind, that one was, I'm gonna come around me, and come around, I'm gonna turn, and then I'm gonna grab it. Or you can do that one like this, turn, switch hands and do the isolation, turn. You can just keep doing that over and over or go into something else. Tag me in your videos doing this and I'm glad to help. Thanks.